Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about PowerShell and why you should be using it to manage your systems. If you're not using PowerShell and, and you're a system admin, now's the time to get started on that train because there's lots of things you can do and today we're going to do a little bitty segment. I'm going to talk about Windows Defender, the antivirus that's built into Windows and you can manage it via PowerShell. You can kick off scans, you can kick off updates and all kinds of stuff like that. So let, let's get started. Here we are, this is PowerShell on my computer. However, if you're a sysadmin, you're probably remote PowerShell into your comp other computers, and that's the way you wanna do things. And if you have an RMM software that gives you PowerShell access, then you can do all these things from there. So first off, let's just do a couple things and point out here what i am using is the new windows terminal application you can get it from the store it's awesome it gives you lots of lots of things you can do so first of all a default gives you powershell but you see this little plus sign over here you can add um new tabs so so you can have multiple powershell sessions open what but and if just like that now this little drop down menu so if you you can have a command prompt and Azure Cloud Shell. Uh, in my case, I've got uh, WSL installed, and so I have an Ubuntu installed in there that I can take a look at, and you can pop right into Ubuntu. Um, one of the wonderful things about PowerShell is that uh, it, you know it has SSH, so you any of your Linux machines that you're you're managing or your BSD machines or anything like that, you can SSH into them straight from your PowerShell. So this is a very very awesome thing. Uh, I've started using it. I used to use Putty all the time, but uh, recently I've kind of just migrated over to using PowerShell. It's really great because now I don't have to install uh, that extra piece of software. So let's just talk about Windows Defender. Now, Windows Defender is the default antivirus that comes with, with your, your Windows 10 um, PC. And... It uh, does a really, actually a pretty decent job of managing and, and scanning your, your system and updating. So you can, if you have clients or p a bunch of PCs that you wanna just check the scans on, you can do a bunch of stuff with. So first off, we're gonna do this command right here. I'm gonna just copy it into you. It's called uh, get computer status MP, uh, MP computer status. So if you click on that, hit that up there, what that's gonna give you is all the antivirus stuff, right? So you'll see the signatures were last updated right here. Uh, the signature versions, computer ID and stuff like this. And I don't know if this is gonna, whatever. And so you have a bunch of information, the, the version of the engine, um, whether access protection, signature protections. Uh, I believe you can even see the, uh, the last time a quick scan was done. Um, and all kinds of stuff like that. So you, you all you have to do is PowerShell into your computer and type that command and you'll get it. I'll put all these commands in the show notes of this video. And we're gonna go through these real quick. Um, here's another one that's awesome. So, so say you want to update. So you go to that update-mp signature, boom. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna tell your computer to go out and get the latest and greatest updates. And, and see, PowerShell has this nice little uh, little GUI for doing that stuff. So there it is, boom. Um, so you can do quick scans. So here's a quick scan. You do the start MP scan. So that's gonna, if any, if any PC you, you're PowerShell into, you want to start a, uh, a, a, a virus scan, start dash mp scan and then you can tell the scan type scan type in this case is quick scan um you can do full scans uh change that quick scan to full scan and it'll do a full scan right and there's other options on that you can choose a scan path um and so if you want to be able to scan uh, uh you know a certain particular paths or whatever you can i think you, i'm pretty and you can even scan map drives and stuff like that. So let's just kick off this quick scan. It's gonna go through here and pop that up there while I talk about this. And it even gives you feedback as to how that is going, right? So that's pretty awesome. 
you have the options of being able to delete active threats. Um, and so that's just remove MP3, MP threat scan. I'll, I'll just, uh, type that in here. So that's what it is. I don't remove a scan. I'm not going to do that. There's nothing on mine to, to do that. Um, this is a good one. Get your preferences, right? So if you want to get the preferences, boom, and all these things right here. And, and what this is going to tell you is is like basically all the way the the way that your windows defender is is configured so go back over and check this quick scan uh it seems to be you know taking its time um you can exclude locations so if you're you're doing in your preferences you can set preferences obviously let me let me clear this clear if i could type it clear uh, I'm also going to make this big, 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 big. So, for example, if you wanted to exclude scanning, I don't, I wouldn't recommend this, by the way, <laughs> excluding your your users. But so set preference, uh, excluding a certain path. So if, for example, you had a path that you didn't want scanned, and oftentimes what this is is a particular program folder or file or that uses a data file or something that if it gets scanned that it causes problem with that that folder that file um, so that that's typically why I would put this in here um, you may have other reasons but just just so you know um, you can also exclude types so let me let me just go down here and 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 put this in here so you go back up here I'm gonna remove this stuff um, that's for excluding a path, but if you wanted to exclude an extension, so like you didn't want to ex scan any of your docs, your, your word documents, uh, again, I don't recommend this, but you can set an exclusion extension. So that is that, um, what else can you do? You can do, uh, look, basically here's the bottom line. Anything you can do in windows defender from the GUI standpoint, you can do in PowerShell. And I would venture to say there's probably things that you can do in PowerShell that you can't do in the GUI. All right, so I guess that, that quick scan finished and everything. Um, so here's the, here it is. That's PowerShell in a nutshell with your Windows Defender. Now, you might be asking, well, okay, that's fine, but I don't need that. Or, you know, I just got it set up and it does its thing. Um, yes, that may be true. But maybe there's other things you want to check. Um, for example, let's take a look at our drive status. Boom. So what here is it gets the status of the drive for smart, you know, so all your hard drives have smart um, capabilities, which basically see, sees whether that drive is failing or about to fail or whatever. And uh, so we can, you can take and you can look at, at that information. So if you want to determine, like you want to see, what the the drive says for its predictive failure right so that shows shows samsung evo 500 or 850 uh so predictive failure false which means it's good um and that sort of stuff it, it's just just more examples of things that you can do in powershell just trust me if you're a system admin and you're not utilizing powershell um go ahead and start thinking about that because you really are going to save yourself some time and some headaches and, and managing stuff. So you can set up bunches and bunches of PowerShell scripts that you can run on your systems and manage them. And so if you, you are a, uh, an individual one man IT shop and you've got several computers and you don't have like an RMM software that you're using, PowerShell is definitely your friend. So go ahead and get that set up. PowerShell is on all your PCs already. So all you got to do is access them, run these commands, check on things. And the beautiful thing about it is if you can remote PowerShell into your, the computers, you can do stuff and not interrupt your end users and, and check and make things sure things are up and running great. So that is why you should be, one of the many reasons why you should be using PowerShell on your computer systems. So, I'm Kevin Stevenson with Get Me The Geek. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and like and share. 
this video. Subscribe would be awesome. So we have weekly videos typically coming out that uh, are all IT resources. So if you're an IT guru, you like to learn about IT, if you're an IT professional and you want to learn about some of these things, or if you're an entry level, you're a help desk technician and you want to up your game and get to that level two or something, these videos are for you. So uh, I appreciate you liking and sharing my videos. Subscribe is very helpful. If you really want to reward me i've got buy me a coffee link in the show description so you can go ahead and send me some money directly and we really appreciate that we'll see you next time